What's up, you guys? What's up, you guys? How are you? How are all of you doing? It has been a minute, hasn't it? Yeah, I, my hair grows over time, Thunder Catherine. It has been several weeks. Well, it's been a week uh, since we talked. I can't seem to get any music playing. Hang on, let me see if I can't... Uh, let me see if I can. There we go. There's some rainwave action going on. I know I'm not going to get DMCA'd for this. Thank you guys for the subs. As soon as I chop, drop in, there's a hype train going on. Level one hype train. Woo! That's cool. You guys are cool. So I got, if you didn't notice, I, I got some new headphones. You can see them here. They're actually from the same company as my old headphones. They are the LCD ones, which is kind of like their flagship. They're open back, which means that like, first of all, my ears don't get as sweaty, which I like. I like open back headphones as often as I can get them. And it just doesn't feel, sound so boxy. The sound, like the bass doesn't get trapped in between your ear and the headphones, which is cool. Um, I think I'd still have an Odyssey link down there if you want to check out their headphones. I think you get a discount for being a schmo, but I'm not totally sure anymore because it's been a while. But anyway, that should be in the panels below. Uh, what's going on, Danielle and Emerald and Messi in the Woods and Soccer Dreamers and Carvesics and Lady Venora and Crescent Rose and that one gamer, and YouTube videos, A Capri, that one gamer again, Aki Lin, Nintendo, Lady Venora, Vidori, SD Team Wolf, Aki Align, Ania One, Cryotoxic, Marabou Streams, Thunder Catherine, Soccer Jawaka, Golden Zari, Jesslyn, Mewtwo, Earthbound, Zaylor Mars, Maki Rose, uh, Manic Prime, Abrakilo, Ujung, Marshmallow, Purple Plant, Time Betrays, Scara D, Bobatori, Mira Mira, Meow Aqua, Kite Saka, again, Ai Chin Chen, Alyssa White, Taylor, Taylor Dragon, Neil, Gracie, and Strike Me Down, and I will become stronger than you can ever imagine. Um, I probably could, if I had any, like, if I was as good as at freestyling as, like, Mega Ran. Mega Ran's a nerdcore rapper who you should check out. If you've never heard any of Mega Ran's stuff, you are very much missing out. Uh, if I was as good at freestyling as he was, I might take a crack at it. But I am not. I am not. The thing with the headphones is like I'm having trouble kind of like balancing the sound because it usually sounds a little bit louder to me. So if you guys have issues with the way that I'm mixing the sound, please let me know in chat because I don't know that I'm monitoring it correctly. My OBS is okay. I had a catastrophic failure of just about everything. It was amazing. Like right before the stream went on, I was like, all right, I'm gonna turn on my lights. Lights didn't come on. Stream Deck wasn't working. Go XLR wasn't working. I rebooted three times. During two of those reboots, uh, my USB, all my USB stuff just stopped working. So I have no keyboard and no mouse. Um, Steam isn't connecting to the internet. It, it's like, it's been really weird. I love using this green water bottle. Um, God, I'm just going to use green things all the time. Look at like, it's just. Ah! The clearest, freshest water in the world right here. You can't get any cleaner than this. It's so clean. It makes me transparent. That's weird. I'm gonna put that over there for right now. There's a, all right. Uh, also importantly, during the intro video, I ordered dinner. I was like really kind of, I was like fretting. I didn't know what I wanted for dinner. I got sushi and it ended up being really expensive. And, um, oops. So thank you for your subs. Uh, I think I just ordered $50 worth of sushi. Which is, it's, it's, it said it had free delivery with orders over $15 and then charged me $6 for delivery. So I'm a little confused. I may be talking with DoorDash afterwards. Uh, but, you know, that's the price we pay for people making us food and bringing it to our house. Sailor Mars has never had sushi. It's kind of like a nerd rite of passage, but that's okay. Dr. Tom says he went through uh, Fantasy Star Online 2. Yeah, I was I was in that. Thank you. I was Huey. 
who's like this guy over here like what's up Claris craze what's going on uh he's like this really bo boisterous uh dude he was fun to play um it was a little surfer dude it was a little surfer dude um but yeah man we did a lot of sessions that i think i was in i was in there like maybe six or seven times for that that game and i have like i have no real concept of what it is i don't think i ever played any fantasy fantasy star games uh did i i don't know i feel like i have to look now fan because fantasy star is an old series fan destiny star um I'm trying to think of like the, the only the old ones are what ones i would have played i'm looking to see if like i recognize them i think i might have played like the original Yeah, the new one's like an MMORPG. Um, but yeah, that's cool. Oh, I can make an announcement to you guys. I, I um, let's see, Desperados. Did anybody in the, in the chat play Desperados? Or have heard of Desperados? I hadn't. It got amazing reviews on like Steam and IGN and PC Gamer. Um, Desperados 3. Yeah, it's like a cowboy game. Well, I play like the main villain, who's, um, uh, his name is, uh, Vincent Montgomery DeVitt. I don't have, like, any art or anything. The, the video game companies and actors don't talk, I don't think, as much as they should. So, like, a lot of times, like, I don't know when things come out. Uh, and I don't, like, have any character art. Let me see if I can find any. DeVitt? Let's see. Start your journey with John Cooper and his gang to stop the greedy and power-hungry DeVitt Company. Vincent Montgomery DeVitt. Who really just sounds like me. I can't find, uh... I don't see any stuff of him. Let's see, I'll give you guys, like, a little picture. Oh, that's really small. That's awful. I, why, oh, God. Why did I... No. That's the game, but this is a terrible thing. Anyway, it's a little bit like a, a real-time strategy kind of kind of thing. And that was fun. I think I did two or three sessions for it. I get I like playing I like playing villains when I can. My favorite kinds of villains to play are the ones that are super unhinged. Um, if you guys have seen Cells at Work, uh, Cells at Work. I think it was episode 11. Cells at Work is like a Power Rangers format where there's like one villain per every episode. Uh, on in episode 11, I got to play basically someone that gives you diarrhea, uh, Basilia, Basilis Sirius, and like um, Christian. Uh, um, Christian was a director on that, and he Christian Lamonti, and and he kind of let me do whatever I wanted. Um, yeah. Yeah, maybe... Do I have a clip of it? I might be able to show you guys. We might play some games today. I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. We have to catch up. Cells... Cells at work is what I'm looking for here. Let's see. I don't think I'm going to find it. Oh, wait. I think I do have it. Hang on. I'll drag it in here. Ready? Here we go. I couldn't have hoped for better than a white blood cell falling to heat stress! <laughs> so yeah, that was that. That was that was me doing stupid stuff at cells at work. Um, that was really fun. I I don't get the chance to play like crazy Yeah, that laugh, right? Yes, that was definitely me. Um it was a ridiculously fun session. I love it when I get to go off the rails. Uh, so, like, yeah. So I don't get to play villains that often, but when I do, um, I have a lot of fun with them. When I was in um, JoJo's, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, I played Oingo, who is a villain for the episode. And um, that was fun, but it was hard because his voice is like, Ugh! and I, it took, it was three hours. I couldn't work for like a day after that. It was, uh, here comes more water bottle. Oh, I have to uh, pop the lid.
Yeah. So what guy? What's going up? What's going on with you guys? I hope none of you were venturing outside without a mask on or doing any stupid. Sh we are not done with the coronavirus. Uh, I hope everybody is being safe and smart. I know we're all lonely and we all want to see people. Um, oh, I do have the hydration effect. It's probably going to be crunchy. Here you go. Ready? Go. Hydration. Oh, yeah. We had some... Uh... See, now, again, I don't... I record this stuff for Mr. Love, Queen's Choice, and then I have no idea when it comes out, right? I generally, like, nobody clues me and be like, hey, we're dropping something tomorrow. Uh, you might want to talk about it. It's usually just kind of silent. Um, and that's the way it is across almost all video games. So, like, I had no idea that new stuff for Gavin came out today. I heard it, like, destroyed some people. So, sorry. I should, I should do the Mike Wazowski face? What's the Mike Wazowski face? Mike Wazowski. He didn't file your paperwork. That? I don't know. Oh, the oh, there's this. Oh, we got F's in the chat for Gavin Fields. Yeah. Thanks for the... This... What is it? I can't see. It's very small. It looks like half a heart, maybe? Dorpix? Thanks for the resub. Thank all you guys for the resubs. <laughs> if you're a new sub, make sure you get in the, the Discord. Anyway, we're here to play some Quest for Glory 3. Um, if you don't remember what was happening, we were in uh, Tarna, which is a city sort of set in uh, Sub-Saharan Africa. And... Uh, and um, we were trying to prevent war, and it's not going really good. There's some lions. I have to queue up what I think is my lion sound effects. I have to make sure that we're, we're in Mufasa territory, or Rakish. I am Rakish Satana. I can't hear it quite as well. Hello. Ah, uh, young hero. You are here to make peace, aren't you? I am a paladin. <laughs> Anyway, so let's take a look at what we've got going on in QFG3 land. I will, oh, abruptly stop this music. I can't fade out as well as I used to. Boop. And nope, still can't. I gotta go to the game stream. I gotta press the button. I don't forgot how to stream, you guys. Okay, butt gang one. Oh, right, we were in Uhura's village. Um, what were we doing? Did I put anything in here? Chest? Now I know that, let's see, how, uh, we already checked this. Um, have you guys seen the, the there's like a meme where, uh, it's like when you boot up an RPG having not played it for three weeks and it's it's Gandalf going I have no memory of this place and that's what I feel like and it's true is this someone's like random hut oh this is a Hura's hut let's sneak around not quite good target the guard bars away all right the live bone is not ready Oh, I can throw spears. Oh, Uhura comes and says hi. This be the place where the Simbani practice throwing spears. So let's throw a spear. Nice. So this is a place where I can practice throwing. I can grind here. And you can see there's like a wind sock on the left. It's wind is blowing to the left, so I want to aim over to the right. And also, wow, I'm not very good, am I? Let's talk to Uhura. What's going on? Talk about the spears. You hit your target with the spear. Uh, build up your strength. 
need to use your brains. Uhura is a beast. Once you figure those things out, you just need to learn to adjust the wind and throw a little head of a moving target. Nice. Will you give me instruction? Show me how you throw a spear at the target, and I will tell you how to improve your skills. Okay. Let's uh, throw it. You're doing well. Oh, okay. So she's probably just kind of giving me an evaluation on my on my scores. So let's uh, let's take a look at what I, how I am doing. Throwing still didn't improve. We're all sitting at 200 thanks to me cheating in the last game. Okay. Bye. See you later. Have a great day. There's also Yasufu. Hi, Yasufu. What's up? The son of the Laibon. Oh, okay. A very good Awari player. Um, Awari, you may recognize. We'll play it here in a second, because I, I don't, won't play it too much, but... Oh, he's going to show us anyway. You may recognize this as uh, Mancala. But it, the rules are a bit different. Three stones be put in all the other holes. We be taking turns moving stones from one hole to another. You move first. Pick a hole on your side and move all the stones to the right. Drop one stone on each hole. All right, I'll, I'll just tell you. Um, so you basically like, you pick a side and drop stones. So there's three stones, you drop one, two, three. If you end in the end, you get to go again. If you end in a blank space, you get to take the other side. So the first move is always this. And the second move is this. One, two, three. Now it's his move. And so, one, two, three, four, I can go again. Uh, let's see. Can I do anything interesting here? This one. One, two, three, four, five. Oh no, I miscounted. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. I get to take my own stones. Yeah, you guys, you guys know this, like, you understand the game. Let's see. Four, five, six. One, two, three. Oh, I'm crushing him now. And let's see. This one. Got the stones. I crushed him. Wow, I don't think I ever won that hard. I don't want to play again, we're good. Talk about Shapir. <clears throat> All users of magic are bad. Don't be, don't be like that. Oh, and this is like a, a buddy hero of Shapir. This is the place where they practice balance and judgment. This is the wrestling bridge. So talk to me about the bridge. Welcome, Boogie Deluxe. Two warriors are standing on the bridge. This looks really dangerous. This really is, looks dangerous. Children shouldn't be doing this. Is Uhuru gonna fight me? Seriously, low flying helicopter out here right now. Walking, 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 walking. Just working on some balance. Very good, young hero. Yeah, but I want to fight somebody. Will you fight me? Missouri. Goodbye. Oh, she's leaving. Uhura has a cool theme. Wutgang Schmozart can indeed parkour. Um, I think it's easier to do in Quest for Glory 4. I don't, guys, I don't remember what I'm supposed to be doing right now, to be completely honest. 
Uh... Does anybody? Does anybody remember what the hell I'm supposed to be doing? Because I don't. Rakish left early. Am I supposed to go out and find somebody? I'm supposed to go find the leopard men, right? I think I'm supposed to go find the leopard men. Let's try that. I think, let's... Oh, we're about to get attacked by an ant. We're out of here. No, get out of here. Battle in this game, like, the art kind of creeps me out in a weird way. Stop it. This is a creepy ant, isn't it? And just the art style gives, like, a really, um... It's a really unique, interesting, weird thing. I don't think you can take anything from ants. Then the music afterwards was weird. Alright, it's day five. There's a pool down here. I think it... Let's go visit this pool. I know I'm supposed to do something here. I don't want to... Who am I fighting now? Another ant? Here, let's, uh... Let's throw a fireball at him. Let's just start throwing fire... I wish there was an easier way to cast spells. Throw a fireball! Well, that hurt a little bit. Get him! Get him! Stop sucking! He shot something out of his tail at me. Nailed it. I'm... No, stop! I think I need to actually run, otherwise I never get away. I don't want to fight anymore. No, you click the run. Go. Run away! You got away this time. Now back to sneaking. Coxico with 10 months of subs. You guys are awesome. I can't believe you're still here. Oh my god. We don't want to fight any more ants. Bravely run away. I have a serious ant problem. Can I please get to the pool? This pool right here. Thank you. And of course, there's a f deer. As you approach this pool of bubbling water, you feel a sense of serenity and peace. Drink, drink some water. Slightly sweet taste and tingles in your mouth. Can I fill my water skin? Why am I echoing? Oh, I guess that was important. Where did my water skins go? Oh, next page. I have water from the pool of peace. Okay. That sounds good. It probably has minerals in it, Lady Venora. If you haven't been to, like, any place that has uh, a spring, there's a place in Colorado called Manitou Springs, and they have fountains all around the city that you can just walk up to and, like, because it's coming out of the ground, and it tastes all tingly and weird because it's got minerals in it. So that's probably why this bubbling spring tingles in your mouth. I've never known of any of them to taste like ginger ale. Can I talk to this leopard? Leopard doesn't say Yeah, we're supposed to go find the leopard men, and we're we're supposed to go find the um, the the not the drum. They have the drum, the the magic spear. Oh, now a giant T Rex. Come on now. I don't think I'm not gonna survive this, am I? 
Where's the rest of his body? I'm definitely not gonna survive this guys. Definitely gonna die. Definitely gonna die. Oh no! Come on! This is intense, guys. Oh, he ate my head and I died. Now I'm dinosaur. That's the sorest you've ever been. Oh, I didn't even see the message. The dino might have left you alone, but he decided to lower the boom and blew your chances of being a hero sky high. Let's, uh, well, we'll take a healing pill when we stop again. We basically became a hamburger. Dinosaur used become burger. It's super effective. I have heal. I have 16 healing pills. Now I only have 15. And this time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pre-cast a bunch of spells. Boom. I only healed it. All right. I'm certainly getting my workout here today. Why does he keep stopping after an hour? Three? We gotta get strong. Oh, it's nighttime. Did I buy a tinderbox? If not. Okay, good. So we can start a fire and sleep at night without getting eaten alive. Alright, now we're over here. I don't know what that tree is. Nor do I know what that rock is. More ants? Where is it? I'm getting them. Yeah. 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 Stab this ant in the face. Now we're getting there. Things are feeling good. Let's save. I really hope I'm on the right track, guys. Otherwise, uh, I'll soft lock the game. <clears throat> there might be something down at this rock. I can't remember. It looks conspicuous. Plant parenthood, really? So, how do I find the leopard people? Maybe if I just wander around in the jungle for a little bit. We'll try that. You are getting tired. Well, now there's a leopard man. This isn't the leopard man. Come on, fight me. Where are you? Dude, that is a really beefy cat. Oh, I'm dead. Wow. That cat is ripped. Ina, thank you for the, the gift subs. All right. Why don't we actually sleep for the night? We'll take a break. Let's, uh... Let's, let's see. Let's... Make camp. Yes. And then we'll light it with fire. Because it's way cooler than using our tinderbox. And then we'll go to sleep. Let's see if we are molested in the middle of the night by any creatures. We are indeed a croc. That's what it, this is what the fire is supposed to prevent. Croc of my croc of man. He sounds pissed. Found some found some stuff. Go back to sleep. Can you imagine like waking up in the middle of the night? fighting a crocodile man and then being like, 
Alright, I'll go back to sleep now. Alright, I'll go back to sleep now. Yeah, all the animals have abs in this game, guys. I'm not sure if the lion taurus have abs, but they definitely should if they don't. Yeah, we're basically in Florida. We're fighting crocodiles and giant bugs. Maybe up here at this tree? Oh, leave me alone. What are you? You're a flying wyvern of sorts. Why do I have such low health? I just slept all night. Got you. Got you again. Thanks for the host, Whisker. Can I pull anything out of this? Some teeth, maybe? Nothing. Yeah, I legitimately don't remember what I was doing in this game, but I guess we're just gonna fight a bunch of enemies. What is this now? Another, another danger noodle. I'll get you this time, danger noodle. I'm gonna get you with a third spell. Oh, maybe not. Oh, maybe not. Come on. Come on, hero. We don't have time for this crap. You really don't feel well. As a matter of fact, I feel like you're about to die. I must be poisoned. Those things poison you. Where are my poison cure pills? That's, uh... The only effect is a tingling sensation, but if the apothecary is to be trusted, you should be now safe from poison. Great. Let's, uh, let's suck down another healing pill. And we'll save again. Thanks, Bakugan and Susie. Where are my leopard people? Well, let's go to this tree. Is it? Oh. Stop it! I don't want to fight anymore! We're gonna run! Oh, I ran right into him. Let's use some fire. Fire is so much more reliable than your weapon in this. This tree. I think this is the heart of the world. This might be the heart of the world. It is. I don't know that there's anything that I'm supposed to do here yet, but uh, we'll explore it since we're here. The largest tree you've ever seen. Didn't we? We needed the gift from the heart of the world for something else, didn't we? I think maybe the um, the Sekhmet, like. Priest of Sekhmet or whatever. The cursor for walk is a mini of the character, yes. I can't see anything. And then you die of dysentery. A big ass tree. I think. Let's see. At the end of the path, you see an opening into the center of the tree. And then an opening through a waterfall. So let's go there first. This is pretty. I want to walk up a giant friggin' tree. I know, it's like the Yggdrasil. Thanks, Anonymous Gifter. An Anonymous Cheer. You find yourself in a strange cave-like hole in the tree. There is a feeling of peace and serenity. And the scent of strange flowers. There's a ball of... light that's floating around. Can I talk to it? You see a strange glowing sphere of pure energy. Alright, before I absolutely f*** this up. Tree! I think if I just stand here, eventually... Yeah, yeah, it's circling around me. It's gonna get in my head, you guys. We cannot burn the tree down. Hypoapraxia, you pyromaniac. 
you seem to hear voices coming from inside your head. Welcome to the Mother of the World. We are the Guardian. What is it that you seek? Oh, I want the, the gift, the gem. You desire a gem? We create them from the essence of the Mother of the World. We will be happy to share one with you. Oh no! Try taking it, okay. Well, we've, we've screwed everything up. A classic, classic Sierra crash. We'll start the game again. But we get to hear this sound again, which is one of my favorite sounds in all of gaming. This candle has been on for very long and I'm going to blow it out now. Because I don't want to set this place on fire, unlike Hypoapraxia who wants to set everything on fire, including a giant tree. Thanks, you drink and green go drink. Thanks, D. All right. So we asked for the gem. We also, there was a, they asked for a gift, right? The gift from the heart of the world. I'm going to talk about that first, even though I'm, tell them about the water. Take the magical essence to the heart of the world above. Place it upon the stand. Okay, that might be the gift. Uh, let's talk about the, you're seeking a gift. Receive such a gift first, you must give. Gather some, oh, wow, glad we did that already. How about, uh, this tree is the, this tree is the mother of the world. So you are a creature of peace and are most welcome here. Uh, I want the gem. You desire a gem? We said this already and then you crashed the f***ing game. Try not to f*** up this time. Goodbye. What if I try to take another one again? I'm doing it. Ah, I crashed it again. Okay, so obviously I only need one gem. I don't, like, the game is punishing me for being greedy. All right, so we got a gem. We found out about the gift. We're gonna go give the water from the pool of peace to this up here. And we're gonna get a gift from the heart of the world, which we'll then, I think, use for the Temple of Sekhmet. Can I get in there? I love the heart roll. An incredible feeling of living energy flows through you as you enter. You smell the perfumes of thousands of different flowers, all blending together to overwhelm your senses. That's really, uh, what was his name? What's the guy? What's the guy who was in the apothecary? I can't remember. You hear the sounds of all the living things in here, creating a melody, which is so beautiful you are moved to tears. It is the music of life itself. Which actually, I guess, kind of sounds like R2-D2. I don't really... I don't... <laughs> the sound of life itself. This place is like, well, totally awesome, dude. Why don't you just like put on a pair of Birkenstocks and just chill out for a minute, okay? Okay. What is it like about surfer dude culture that's like, okay, when you become a surfer dude, your mouth actually moves from the center of your face all the way to the side of your face, all the way over here. You can't have it in the center. It's got to be all the way over there. Let's go up here and see what's going on. Uh, okay. So I gotta get- oh, alright. From the water of the pool of peace, which I've got up here. Did, did I just ring a doorbell? You empty the skin of peace water onto the spiral platform. <laughs> you good? Did someone say peace water? I don't think you want that. A few moments later, a new fruit appears in the branch. This must be your gift from the heart. I think I need it for the dispel potion, right? I need the gift of the heart 
for the dispel potion. And now I hear bagpipes. This is a weird place, you guys. This is a weird place. Is it dinner time? I think that's it for this place, guys. I think we, we I think we've cleared it. I don't think we need to do anything. The gem may be for Sekhmet. I don't think we can go this way. So I think it's just all the way down the tree we go, guys. Boy, this is pretty. Yeah, I wish I had a hang glider right now. Soccer is really concerned about where we are HP-wise. Which is actually pretty good, although the green indicates that I may be poisoned. Or, I don't know, 1 and 7 out of 2 is not so bad. I don't, I don't think I'm poisoned. I think I, t I took that poison pill and we were alright. Granola Boot Gang is, is hiking an issue. Alright, so we're done with the tree, but we still need to find the leopard people. I think it may be in the next screen over. I'm sure we're gonna fight 6,000 ants before we get there. Or danger noodles. Can I do anything else that's interesting? Can I. What is this? Reversal spell. I don't know what that is. I have the lever. Okay. Force bolt. Calm spell. A feeling of peace and tranquility. Goodbye. See you later. Now I'm going to sneak away. We're going. This is us being sneaky. That made me dizzy. Listen, hero, you gotta get out of here. Just run, okay? Now we can go back to sneaking. We didn't stop time. We just kind of made things. Oh my god, I'm. I don't want to fight anymore. Fine. Oh, I got him down pretty good there with the, with the fireballs. I like that method. It makes the battle shorter, and the battles are kind of clunky, so... Move in the microphone. Okay. See, this is too far. I don't think we're supposed to be here yet. Oh, no, wait, there's a monkey. You see a monkey trap. Get the monkey out of the trap. Oh, monkey ran away. And that was apparently something I was supposed to do. Hi, monkey. What's your name? Ah, it talks. Monkey, Manu. Monkey, big monkey. Manny, smart monkey. Manu, big, 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 Jungle Manu home. Jungle monkey home. Tree's good place, ground bad place. Many bad things eat monkeys, many bad things catch monkeys. Tree's best place for monkeys, jungle best home for monkeys. Uh... Manu see man friend. Man friend no see Manu. Manu up tree, Manu here. Hello man friend. Uh, let's talk about the jungle. No, we already... No, bye! I needed... I need to go to the leopard people. Will you help me go to the leopard... People, Manu. Manu. Ah, uh, that's not the leopard person I wanted to see. Come on. I'm already probably dead from those couple of fireballs. 
Oh, man. Oh, jeez, boy, golly, gosh. Pat got your tongue and everything else. This refugee from a leopard colony? A leopard colony. Really? All right, we gotta rescue Manu again, that's fine. Monkeys? Monkeys live in Monkey Village. Talk to me about the trap. Talk to me about your name. Oh, bye. See you later. That's good. Okay. Uh, we'll save this time. No, it's the same monkey. We just, uh, we had to, uh, save, or we had to restore. I don't remember what else to do here. I don't think I can get over here yet. Music is cool, though. I, I don't... I can't fight you. I'm not strong enough. Don't chase me. I want to know where I can find your people. Wow, this leopard's uh, pretty fast. Let's change direction. Run from the Fundoshi cat. Go all the way up to the waterfall. No, I'm not. I'm done with this, guys. I don't remember what to do. Quest for glory three, day six. Okay, let's see. I'm just saying, like, I don't remember how to do this and I don't want to run around like an idiot. Day seven. Oh, so I'm not, I should have been like, it's still too early. Hmm. Hmm. I guess we're just gonna go... We're just gonna go back to Tarna. This is very confusing and very not intuitive. We're gonna walk all through the night. Don't worry about it. Nope, I'm not fighting anybody anymore. What is that? Oh, it's like a Neanderthal. Ape man. If you're looking for directions, doesn't this make this map quest for glory? That's amazing. That's amazing. All right, so we've finished pretty much what we need to do in the wilderness, I think. I'm gonna go back to Tarna and visit the Temple of Sekhmet. And there are a couple things that can, that can happen there. I can give the, um, the fruit of the there to the apothecary. If I can survive the ants, it's got to be like past midnight. What time is it? It's day six. You're getting tired. Let's go ahead and make camp. Here, I'll build a fire. Uh, we'll light it with a fire bolt because we're cool. And we'll miss completely. Then we'll take a nap. What do you think? We're gonna get ambushed in the middle of the night? Was it better to... Oh my god, Greg Chun is in the chat. What the f***? At least I think Greg Chun is in the chat, unless it's a Greg Chun imposter. Greg, welcome to the stream. Everybody say hi to Greg. We're gonna put the... F I think if you don't put the fire out, you can cause a massive forest fire. Let's, let's, let's see if we can... Let's see if we can be a little bit of a pyromaniac. Only you can prevent jungle fires. All right, maybe it'll warn us for now. Greg, what are you doing? Bonsoir tout le monde. 
Bonsoir. Là où est mon nom? D'accord! We are now on a French stream. Merci beaucoup, Aki. Nuire dangereux. Oh my god, get me out of this jungle. If you're just catching up with us, we're running from a giant danger noodle. Uh, and we're trying to make our way all the way back to Tarna, which is to the west. I think it's two more screens. It is, and we've just got a long way to go. Stop it. Yeah, Greg, this is what you have to look forward to on your streams. It's just chaos. Greg Chun is actually most well known for his part as Joe Zija in real life. Um, we cast, we went through a lot of auditions to find the person that was gonna play me. And uh, Greg was it. He was just, he was, he was the person. Pumpkin Days, thank you for your subscription. This dinosaur. We're gonna go sleep at the Pool of Peace tonight. Oh, what's up, Pumpkin? Yeah, I remember raiding you. Welcome to the stream. How's your dev, how's your dev stuff going? Are you devin? You devin hard? I'm not saying that you're a person named Devin. Unless your name is Devin, I only know you as Pumpkin Days. This game, Pumpkin, you're here for, uh, this is kind of like our retro stream. We're playing old point-click adventures. Quest for Glory was from my favorite games as a kid. So that's what we're doing here today. All right, Greg, see you later. Thanks for stopping by. I love you, bye. What time is it? Is it time for sleep yet? Let's, uh, you know what? Let's actually make time instead of, no, ah, no. You really don't feel well. As a matter of fact, you feel like you're about to die. Am I poisoned again? I am. Those freaking danger noodles, I swear to God. Thanks for the sub, Brandon Barajas. Oh, get out of here. I did get rid of the poison the first time, but I think I ran into another danger noodle. And uh, that was it. That was it. Here there are big dinosaurs. Here there are dinosaurs. Is anybody in chat slated to play against me tomorrow in Shadowverse? Oh my gosh. All right, let's kill this ant. Nailed it. Got him. I think tomorrow I'm going to be announcing a new card for Shadowverse. Uh, that actually reminds me. I have to ask them real quick because I think I was supposed to and I never got any materials. Uh, give me one second here to look at my email because that's important as the stream is in, uh, yeah, not very long from now. Let me do this. Let me, uh, uh um, okay. No, I was definitely reading my email. It's been weird with all the delays and stuff. I am getting very tired of you. I'm, I'm done with you. I'm gonna hit you with fireballs. And I'm gonna stab you in your face. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to do a card reveal, but I, I haven't gotten any materials yet. 
They've been, like, their schedule's been messed up, my schedule's been messed up, so I, I don't know. There's also some fun stuff that's coming up this weekend for Shadowverse that I can't talk about yet. But I will, and you guys will think it's fun. I hope. I don't normally work on the weekends, but I like you guys. So stay, stay tuned for some Saturday shenanigans. Unless, unless the event isn't live, I, I honestly can't remember. Uh, but stay tuned for some weekend Shadowverse shenanigans. And I will be resting. Uh, Sunday is Father's Day, and then I'll be taking Monday off. But I'll see you guys again on Tuesday. Should I try to make it? Um, let's see. Let's see if I don't want to like. What time is it? Out of the way. We're gonna make it to Tarna. Okay, we're at like halfway there. Let's go. Welcome to Tarna. And I like how there's a little like that little uh, quest for glory theme going on in the background. Now there's the temple of Thichmet. I kind of want to go straight there instead of going to sleep. It's way late, but then it'll advance a day. I I, I think that'll work. I think that'll work out. So we're gonna go to Thichmet. Uh, after, uh, after our halftime, which is going to happen right the f*** now. Wow, that got really bright, didn't it? Uh, here we go. I want some music. Now I gotta bring up the notes. Give me the notes. So, the halftime we're doing today uh, is voiceover roulette. And so, me being a voice actor, I often have. I love this water bottle activity going on. <clears throat> uh where I have a program here that will generate random qualities for a voice, which you can see it just popped up here. And it'll generate rando stuff with accents and ages and stuff like that. And uh, then I will read prompts that you guys have given me. We have quite a few. Some of them are like serious poems, and some of them are like quotes from, um, um, Monty Python. Really, really anything. So, yeah, the halftime, I have different halftimes based on what games I'm doing. Uh, for this particular game, or this series, this is kind of like a non-affiliated halftime. On Thursday, when we play Just Cause, we'll have Cesar's Conspiracies. Where Cesar, who is my character in Just Cause 4, will explain to you the conspiracy that you give him. In Cesar's voice. Cesar. Uh, alright. So, give me a number. Um, from 2... 24. 22 is the first one I saw. Acer, you gotta give me more than one word. Okay? We're gonna do way more prep. Well, here, here it is. This is like, this is how it is a lot of times for commercial, right? So we'll do commercial. Acer gives me one word from Lionel from Animal Crossing. We're gonna go through it though, okay? We're gonna go through it because this is what like a commercial session is like. You may have like one word or three words like Chevron with Tecron, right? And like you have to do it 127 times and you'll you'll spend most of the session 
like just hearing people's opinions on how to say it in a different way. Commercials are wild. Video games, like you do not have time to, to spend a lot of time on each line. You're like flying through. Sometimes you do like, depending on the studio, like you could do one to 200 lines an hour uh, if you're just really moving through. And that is a lot, guys. As opposed to, right, Ai Chin Chen. Liberty Lutual. Um, so, okay. Let's see, let's see what this one line. We have a 25 year old, high pitched, gravelly, dry Russian. Who's basically with a with a massive overbite, giant overbite. So, if I'm going to make it like this and gravelly, but he's high pitched and he's dry, so not so much, not so much up here with a giant big overbite. That's how we're gonna. So that's that's a new character that we've come up with. High and gravelly, like this, with a big overbite and he's dry. That's how we're gonna do it. One warder. So you ready? This is it. Precisely. That's it. Where's my Emmy, mother? Thanks. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. That was, um, wow. I just, uh, I didn't expect to make that choice. I didn't expect to make that, that choice in that way. And I'm glad, I'm glad that you, uh, I'm glad, I'm glad. I'm glad that you guys like that. Um, I expect rewards. I expect awards and rewards for that. And I hope you guys felt that as deeply as I did. Uh, because that was a perfect 10, we're going to do number uh, number 10 next, which we are we're upgrading. This is two words. Thanks, CJ. This is two words from Call of White Fang. Um, who is giving me a quote from the Cabbage Man? I'm not sure if that's a real person. Um, it's from Avatar? Is a cabbage man in Avatar? I still haven't seen it. I suck. All right, so this is a two-liner, two-word line from the cabbage man, which will be delivered. Oops. As a 53-year-old, mid-pitched, smooth-textured, happy Nordic man. We haven't had a Nordic accent, have we? With a massive overbite. So, I don't really know how to do a Nordic accent, and I'm not really sure why that's in there. The only Nordic accent that I know how to do is basically the uh, the Skyrim accent, which I don't think is very Scandinavian slash Nordic at all. Uh, so it's all, it's all up here. And the one thing that I do notice about the Nordic accent is they take their S's and they kind of like shoot them. Going down to the south kind of thing. Uh, and that's, that's weird. Yeah, I could do it. A Swedish accent. So 53 age, mid pitch. So a 53 year old, probably more resonant in the chest. We're getting close to here. Mid pitch, this isn't very low. It's low, mid low. With this smooth texture, who's really happy to see you. He's just really happy to see you. And he's got a little bit of a Nordic accent. You're gonna go slay, slay Parthenax with a massive overbite. So. My cabbages. Slightly Irish, Nordic person. I don't think I'll ever use that voice in any context. Uh, thank you guys. Thank you so much. 13 out of 10. Awesome.
Give me another number. Sixteen. Wow. Okay, so sixteen is submitted by Mew, and it's a quote from Jean d'Arc from Fate Grand Order. Where is everybody? Oh no! So let's see. Thanks, Clia. Um, let's see. Where is my thing? We're clearing that. Let's see what Joan of Arc is going to sound like in this version. Joan of Arc is in her well past her prime. A mid-pitched, mid nasally superhero, which is very Jean d'Arc, with a... No, we're not doing Nordic again. Come on, give me something else. Appalachian accent. Who's on the phone? So, a 63-year-old mid-pitched. So, someone in there... Someone in their 60s doesn't really sound that much different from someone in their 30s, depending on their voice box. Um, let's see. Mid measly. So we got me up here in the measly area. Who's a superhero? 63-year-old mid pitch nasally superhero with an Appalachian accent. So, it's someone around here. That sounds like, that sounds like someone who could take on a couple of people, smash some skulls and rescue people from the train tracks. Yeah, yeah, okay. And he's on the phone. So he's pro probably done that thing right here where it's speakerphone. This is not how you use speakerphone, okay? That's not what speakerphone is for. Not what it's for! Stop walking around like this! So, uh, the Joan of Arc quote that we've got, I'll, I'll use the prop. Ready? Here we go. Hear me, all heroic spirits, mighty warriors who have gathered here. Though we may be rivals from different eras, we must stand together now. Can you hear me? My true name is John Dark. In the name of the God and Lord, all that thing, I shall become your shield. And I will never be in a Fate series ever again. Thanks, guys. Because the producers are watching this and they're like, Achilles. We hired this guy to be Achilles in Fate Apocrypha, and this is how he repays us. This is how he repays us. No, that guy, never again. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. I'll never work in a Fate series ever again. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm excited for my sushi. I just had like a thought. I was like, ooh, sushi. All right, give me another number. Uh, I see 20. This is from... Ryoji Mochizuki from Persona 3. Is this from P3 FES? Because I don't recognize this quote at all. I haven't played the FES portion of Persona 3. But is this... This is from the FES, not the P3. I haven't played I haven't played through FES yet. But I want to. P3. It is definitely one of my voice goals to be one of the main cast in a Persona game. I'm just I'm speaking that out to the universe. Persona 3 um, was the first Persona game I played. I'm just telling you guys, it was a little story time. Uh What was I saying? 
I was, here's the story. I had graduated from my technical school after becoming an Air Force officer. And then I went back to that school a year later for some advanced training on certain things. And during that, like I was by myself that time. Like it was just me. I went there, gosh, a couple months maybe, three, four months by myself. My wife didn't come. Um, and so like I just bought some games to play and like I saw this thing and it was called Persona. Uh, this must have been 2008 or nine. And so I drop it in there and like I, I, I pop it in and I, I get to like the opening sequence and literally like the opening sequence as soon as he pulls the trigger on the, uh, the what did they call them? I can't remember what they're called anymore in P3. Uh, and Burn My Bread came on. I was like, what the f is this? This is awesome. Evoker. Uh, and I was like, I was so hooked right away. I, I knew I was gonna love that game. And man, I love that game. Uh, it was super, super cool. Burn my bread. The, the music is fantastic. It was my first introduction to Shin Megami Tensei in any form, although I know it's not a Shin Megami Tensei game, technically, is it? Um, but yeah, that was just a cool moment. Anyway, that's, that's the story. So let's see what we're gonna, how we're gonna persona. With a 16-year-old, which was pretty much, we're a persona character right now. Okay, still a Persona character. Smooth. Oh, sounded like maybe a villain. Persona villain. Yep, this is a Persona villain, you guys. Do we have any accents? Persona characters don't have accents. I'm not doing Chinese. Uh, Cockney's weird. That's cool. Yelling from the bottom of a very large ravine. So a 16-year-old hi, hi guy. Right? You're gonna age him age him down a little bit so he's 16. Um it's not not a lot of 16 year olds sound like that. Uh the ravine quirk is great. But he's high pitch and he's um smooth textured, a little sarcastic, like whatever. It's a little little Yusuke, right? He's a little Yusuke. Uh but Yusuke is like rough and certainly not cocky. Um, yeah. So, right up here, right, this is not hope. This isn't hope right here. This isn't hope. I'm a 16-year-old high, smooth, sarcastic with a Cockney accent, and I'm yelling from the bottom of a very large ravine. So I think that was pretty good. Yeah, please don't send this to Atlas and be like, this is Josie, just Persona 6 audition. Uh, go for it. So let's see what this P3 quote sounds like. I'm going to put the... Where's my echo? I'm going to put the echo on because I'm at the bottom of a very large ravine. I was confined within him. And I led him to my 12 missing pieces without realizing it. And then, oh, I remember. I remember everything. It all makes sense now. Who and what I am. You don't care, do you? Because you're on the top of the cliff and I'm all the way down here. You sh I was in Uncharted? I don't think I was in Uncharted. Joe Schmo says I love your work in Uncharted and, and Fire Emblem. I don't think I was in Uncharted. Was I? You're not an idiot. Just Cause is basically Uncharted. Yeah, it's already in, in, at, on Atlas's doorstep. Yeah, it's basically Uncharted. It's, it's Uncharted with a with a, a, a part Mexican guy. That's fine. This sounds like this sounds like P3 music, doesn't it? This is from uh, Delta Rune. Okay. 
So, let's do one more. I'm being notified that Amazon just dropped something off at my door. That makes me nervous. So I didn't order anything. Number five, Bakugan said number five. From Space Lady, who gives uh, a quote that's Plastic Love by Maria Takeuchi. I have no idea what this is. Um, is this is this a song? It's a song. If I knew the tune, and if I thought I could play it on stream without getting my entire stream gutted by copyright sharks, I would play it. Um, but maybe it's better that I don't. Yeah, you guys can all you guys can all all watch it. This is Booty's favorite song. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull it up uh, in my to, to listen later. But I'm not gonna play it. I'm not gonna play it. Okay, copyright people. It didn't happen. I played one note. Thanks, Outsider Life. Okay. Um. So we're just gonna we're just gonna kind of I guess maybe do this as a slam poetry thing instead of singing it. And for this Maria Takeuchi song, we're going to be a 42 year old. Low pitched, scratchy, boisterous. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. We're we're one accent away from from Boris here, who's German, ha. who's drowning. Okay. So, forty-two low scratchy boisterous German. <laughs> But he's drowning in water. <laughs> I cannot believe what's going on here. I don't like it. Okay. So, here's this. Bonk. Thanks to the plastic beat, another morning comes. <laughs> I'm just playing games. I know that's plastic. <laughs> Steve. That's not, that's not Boris. It's close. It's Boris, it's German Boris. It's uh, Boris Hick. Or, or I don't know what Boris in, in this would be. Munir, thank you for your subscription. I don't know why I got so intense or serious when I, I welcomed that person. That's not how I normally welcome a person to stream. Like, welcome. Thank you for your subscription. What's up, Jeff? You just missed halftime, but now is the chance for all you great people to win a signed print. If you don't win a signed print today, we are still accepting um, orders at Zobi. I think the mods will drop a link for that. Um, but let's have a raffle first while I take a break. Raff raffle that sh Just raffle it. Raffle, fly, fly, fly.
to the finder. The Isle of Koholand. Holy crap, this is my voice in this song. Human, monster, sea, sky. A scene on the lid of a sleeper's eye. Awake the dreamer, and Koholand will vanish, much like a bubble on a needle. Cast away. You should know the truth. All right, let's close that up. Also, props to whoever spotted, who, who knows my remixer handle, and was like, hey, Joe worked on this. Oh, I have to turn this up now, don't I? I do. And we're going to go back to the game. Scara D, congratulations! You want to sign print? I hope you have good time with print. Send mod information, and I send you print. And you have happy time. Like nine days have passed. In the meantime, over here, we're gonna need to restore. And we're gonna go straight in the, into the Temple of Sekhmet. The remix you heard with my voice is by um, Will Rock. Will Rock is a very talented guitar player and composer. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is when the game gets, well, this, this particular just gets weird. You hear a voice in your head. Releaser of darkness has returned. I feel like this should be low. Let's make this low. Oh, it's a hoarse, low female voice. Let's turn the gender up. I have a gender button. Ah, yes. As the doom of Tarna brought the gem of the Guardian. Then the Lion Taurus. Oh, there's a, there's a, there's two voices. Where am I getting buzzes? What's buzz? What's who's buzzing me? I don't want to buzz. Then he shall be just. Hear me, your priestess, O Sekhmet, mother of Tarna. I don't know why I think this person sounds like that. And there stands before you one who shall be judged. His soul shall be weighed against the feather of truth, and the future shall be revealed. Drink now, soul that shall be weighed. May you balance the feather of truth. You might want to sit down. Oh, I told you to sit down. Now you've fallen. You feel yourself floating. Let me let me get a good back. What, what do we think? All right. Choose that which you were. So, um, what was I? I was a thief. Right? So maybe the key? I'm, I'm saying, like, let's go with the key. Be the scrumpo you want to see in the world. The deep voice speaks again. As you reach to replace the sacred jeweled statue of Nishkabob with the carefully measured bag of sand, which is a narrow avoidance of copyright infringement, a small childish voice from the shadow suddenly asks, What you doing? Good question. What do you do? So if child catches you stealing, what do you do?
You explain to the child that you are merely cleaning the idol and will return it when you're done. You throw a handful of coins on the ground. You knock the noisy kid over the head to keep him quiet and proceed. So, okay. So child abuse, child endangerment. Um, which, which, which is it here? Do we wanna, do we, let's, let's be a sh okay? Let's just be awful for this entire sequence and see how it plays out. I don't think I've ever been like really awful. So I'm gonna do that. I'm hitting, I'm hitting the kid. Choose that which you are. Yeah, we're doing darkest timeline for this. So I am still a thief. I'm not really like a fist. Uh, I'm not a timekeeper in infinite. Let's go with the ring, maybe? Now let's go with the key again. You hear the voice again. You stand before three locked doors. One is labeled wealth, one is labeled happiness, and one is labeled glory. You have a key that will open any one of these. What do you do? Well, the game is called Quest for Glory. It's not called Quest for Happiness. Open the door to happiness, since once you're happy, you'll have no need for glory. Once you have wealth, you leave the key behind as you turn your back on all the doors and stride off to create your own destiny. Yeah, f fuck you, fate. You dig around the backpack for a lock fit and use it to jimmy all the doors. Absolutely. I pick all the doors. Because this is the darkest timeline. You hear the voice and tone. Choose that which you will be. A candlestick? An ankh? I think I'm gonna be drunk. You hear the voice again. Three veiled and robed women stand before you holding chalices. The first woman is dressed in purple velvet and says, Drink and you shall have my wealth. The second is dressed in blood red silk and says, Drink and you shall have my love. The third is dressed in black and says, Drink and you shall have my soul. Choose. All right, refusing to drink. Love, wealth, black chalice. You try to peek out of the veil the one offering love before you commit to drinking the wealthy one's chalice. So you check out. You're like, are you a babe? Are you a babe? Because if you're not a babe, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm not drinking your chalice. If you're not a babe, we can't do this. Okay, babe? That's messed up. I don't know. Do I want to drink someone's soul? Or do I want to be a jerk? That's the Sylvain choice. It's messed up. I'm picking it. Thy soul has been weighed and you are a piece of sh**. Thy soul is not in balance with the truth. Ye have been judged. Ye are not worthy for the future to be revealed. Get the f out. I hope you wake up in a gutter. It's day eight. Now, are there like, I have to check to see if there are any like game consequences for that. Let's see. I don't know. It doesn't look like it's, it has any, I don't know what it affected. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna save here. And uh... Gang Mozart is a d in this timeline. Okay, so we'll save. If we ever need to go back, like if it screws up something that happens in a later game, I'll go back and fix it. But for right now, 
We're going for it. Let's sleep until morning. Dice. Dice is out. Sorry, Dice. <clears throat> Let's have some breakfast. Let's have my, the, the welcome woman. Is that what her name was? What is it that I might do for you now? We're gonna flirt again. We always flirt. Um, I just want a meal. <clears throat> yeah, when did Butgan turn into Sylvain? Good night, guys. Sleep well. Rest well. Vein. <clears throat> butt vein sounds like a um, butt vein sounds like a medical condition that I don't want to deal with on this stream. I'm sorry, Mr. Zija. You have butt vein. Um, I thought about you and our constantly. Ah, uh, he's in love, Halim. Tell you about Julinar, yeah. You tell how you gave the gifts of kindness, magic, and love. Absolutely great. Let's talk about the vines. I got the fruit. Talk about the gift. What goes around comes around, buddy. Field of dreams. Uh, so now I gotta give him this stuff. That's not. Uh, I need the fruit of the poisonous vine. The fire opal. This, give that to him. Wow, the aura on this thing is out of sight. And I've got to give him fruit of the poisonous tree, which is a legal term. What else do I need? This is a spell potion. What else do I, I can't remember. Ah, oh, crap. I needed more of the pool apiece. There's this really cool pool somewhere. Sort of like a really wet Nirvana. Man, now I gotta go back there? That sucks. What else am I supposed to do here? Let's go talk to uh, Rakish. Maybe he'll tell me. Because I can't remember what's going on. Nobody's here. Welcome, young hero. You will find us in the back parlor. Oh, this is about to get steamy. This is about to get very steamy. You guys ready? Here it is. Oh, boy. Welcome back. I hope you have found your stay with the Simbani to be pleasant. It is good to see you again, Prince of Shapir. I have spoken with Raja while you have been gone. He refuses to believe in any talk of demons, and this is impatient for vengeance against the Leopard Men, despite all I could say. She's got some magic! Uh, Maja can be stubborn. How about to eat? What's going on these? The Leopard Man village is east of here, but my magic is drawn further east. There is rumored to be a lost city somewhere far to the east. It is possible that is where my magic is drawn. Okay. 
A gate orb is absorbing my magic. A gate orb opens a gate between worlds, which would allow demons to cross into our world. Any types of demons? How you doing? Someone is watching us. Raja was always found with Rishaka. He asked her to lead the peace mission, which is why he feels her loss to be his own fault. Raja prefers to drown his sorrows in blood, Krisha. So I need the spear. Spear is somehow the key to this symbiote. When the spear is returned, I'm asking you to find the spear if the leopard, leopard men do have it. Hidden by strong magic, you'll need the aid of a leopard men in order to find the village. Well, all right, so I need to find a leopard man. Now I think I remember where the game goes. I think I remember where we're going from here. I think now that we've talked to everybody. Oops. I'm going to go back in the temple and see if they'll kick me out. You guys think we're going to find a leopard man. But I'll tell you right now, we are going to find a leopard woman. Alright, they don't throw me out. Um, do I have anything left to do in the city? I don't remember. Hmm. Hmm. Man, I can't believe I forgot the... I forgot the, the food. Man, oh man. All right. Oops. I minimized everything. Okay. So I think um, what I can do here There's a there's an optional thing. Do you remember in the beginning where we uh, we threw a dagger at a thief? What time is it? We can meet him here, and we can give him some food. There's really nothing else for us to do here in Tarna. So if we wait till night, ah, there he is. Hey, you blondie! You gotta help me. Listen, I'm begging you. You gotta meet me in this bazaar tonight. I need you to help me. Make your thief sign. <laughs> so you ain't as good as people think you around here. How about Bud just saying place for the likes of us keep clean? They're gonna get you. Meet me tonight and we'll talk some. Hey, you deaf for something? You gotta help me. What do you need, man? We can't... All right, well... All right. Agree to meet. We'll meet... I'll meet you here tonight. Nobody calls me Blondie. Hey, oh, what are you doing, huh? I don't know where, like, like Psycho John Travolta came from there. Hey, rah, 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 rah. So, I need to burn some time. I can't make it all the way out to the Pool of Peace. And back here. By the time sunset goes off. That's like a two-day journey. Hi, Mega Dragon. Uh, but I will just go out to the savannah. Because time moves faster. <clears throat> time goes really fast while we're out here. And I'm gonna... Whoever this is... Oh, you're dead. Whoever you are, you're so dead. Where? Yeah, come here, croc man. Yeah, you make that... Oh, okay. I didn't want to cast calm. I'm not really interested in calm. I'm interested in... Chaos. Give me chaos. Yeah. Time to get f***ed up, Croc Man. Dead.
And I got five bucks. I love the fact that in my chat right now, I have to take a screenshot of it. And then I have to show you guys what it looks like in my, I don't know if you see this, but this is just great. This is what the chat looks like to me because of what Hina just did. This is like the little message that I got to pop up here. Hang on. Right there. That's what it, that's what it looks like right now. So thanks, Hina. Thank you for adding that to the permitted U-term database. It's amazing. And I just love that I got that message. So everyone, you can say code as much as you want. We are totally cool with that here. Nicely done. And that was so, that was so Thunder Catherine could talk about the load of ants. Don't abuse it, okay, you guys? Don't abuse it. I gotta fight this croc. doing so great let's get out of here all right that should be enough to um, meet Harami in the evening or close to it So let's let's see if we can kick time. There we go. All right. I think Thunder Captain was correct uh, as to the appropriate usage of the word and how many we had. <coughs> what time is it? Oh, I didn't rest enough at all. Not evening yet. <coughs> Someone's ringing like a Tibetan meditation bowl somewhere. Almost. Almost, but not quite. Are we there yet? Are we there? Is it sundown? Not quite. Nope, we're still... Is this a metaphor for life? You just, we're all just waiting for the sun to go down? Supersonics, thank you for continuing your subscription. I can't believe we've been doing this, guys, for like nine, ten months now. All right, let's go find Harami. Come on, it's dark. You guys need to pack up your stuff. Okay. Now Harami should be up here. Hey, what's up, buddy? The king. You just don't know how glad I am to see you just to have someone to talk to. You gotta help me. 
Oh, we already said this already. Uh, big deal, I thought. What kind of punishment is losing honor? I never had much to do with honor anyway. Now I know what they mean when they say without honor. It means no one can talk to me. It means no one even looks at me. It's as if I was dead or something. You're breaking some sort of law just listening to me. I got no place to stay except in the tents of the bazaar at night. I got no use for money. I can't buy anything. I can't even get away because no caravans are coming because of the war rumors. It's awful. What do you need? No food. One second. I'm, my phone's blowing up and I don't know why. Jeez, it's a good thing there's still warmer night or I die. This is really getting really into the into the 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 John Travolta territory. Hey, you was trying to stop politics, stop this war. Well, I'm not much for politics, but go for it. Stop this war, and then the caravans will come back, and I can get the f out of here. Um. Okay. Great. How about I give you enough? Let's see. Would you like some dried meat? Thanks, pal. Would you also like some water? This person isn't interested in the object that you offer. Would you like a dollar? I got no use for it. No, okay. Would you like a raven? Um, would you like me to cast Firebolt at you? Oh, yeah, okay. Would you like me to throw a dagger at you? Okay. You're the only pal I got. I don't want to lose you. All right, Harami. Thanks for sticking around. And that will bring us to the end of our stream. We have a few minutes left. What do you guys want to talk about? A lost item. Oh, I want to take a nap. I slept like garbage last night. I don't know what you guys want to talk about. If you haven't heard already, so... Last week, I'm gonna relax. I'm gonna relax. I'm gonna bring the voice, the mic close to me. I'm gonna relax. Um, if you, uh, it was, um, it was a rough couple of weeks for America there, huh, guys? But that's not really the truth. It's been a rough couple of centuries. Um, and one of the things that that bothered me and is bothering lots of people is the idea. Interesting, this uh, remix is from Quest for Glory, Shadows of Darkness. <clears throat> the, um, the thing that, that kind of bothers me and bothers a lot of people is the idea that, like, we're done, right? This sort of change is going to be generations in the making. Um, and uh, I don't want to just have, like, a week of of doing whatever and then and then just like go back to how it was so I'm still trying to think of ways that like you know how can Joe help what do I have um, I don't have I don't have an experience that I can share with people I don't really have uh, opinions that are appropriate to share this isn't my fight this isn't time for me to talk so one of the things that I think we're going to do is I think we're going to continue to promote, uh, I guess, underprivileged. Is that a correct term? Um, folks in the gaming industry. And we're going to do that a couple of times a month. We'll probably replace a Tuesday stream. With what I'm calling our Amplify stream. So we've got a platform, we've got an audience, just like JBS says. And so we're gonna use that to do what we can um, for the BIPOC 
community and LGBTQIA+, all that stuff. Um, yeah, underrepresented artists in video games. So if you haven't seen it yet, my pinned tweet right now on my Twitter has a place where you can suggest games and artists and composers and stuff like that that we can feature on our stream during those Amplify streams. We'll probably do them once a month. I think will probably what happen, what will happen. Um, we've got some suggestions so far. <clears throat> so yeah, thanks Mubot and Hina for triggering Mubot. Click that link or, you know, whatever. Um, so when it comes time to have an Amplify thing, we'll reach out to, um, we'll reach out to somebody. This Friday, guys, this Friday, the 19th of June, I will be a guest of GameSpot. I am going to be on their, uh, a guest on their charity stream, which is the, let me take a look. Uh, play for all. Their play for all charity stream is going to feature uh, a bunch of different folks. And um, I'm going to host here. We're still working out how we're going to do it. But on Friday at noon Pacific, I'm going to be a guest for two hours or so on their stream. We are going to do Dear Abby. We're also going to do it with a couple of guests. Um, I'm not totally sure who's going to be on the stream with me. They're not my guests. They're, they're GameSpot's guests. So they're coordinating something. We'll be talking about voiceover. We'll talk about Fire Emblem. Probably talking about Bumblebee and Transformers and stuff like that. We're also going to do a round of Dear Abby. A special stream for the Play For All charity on Friday at noon. So this is a stream intensive week. But other than that, guys, um, tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock, we'll be doing our, our Shadowverse stream. We're picking that up again. And uh, I'm excited to battle you schmoes. I'm excited to uh, dig into the story a little bit more and see if there's any more of Rowan's big gay adventure, which I really enjoyed. And uh, that's it. So thank you guys for coming tonight. I will see you tomorrow morning. I don't have a sign off. Uh, keep on clicking. <laughs>